Today we're getting ready for Motherland Fort Salem season three. I thought similar to my last Wilds uh, sort of catch up video, you guys really enjoyed it. I would do a catch up of season two of Motherland Fort Salem and going back and putting together all my reactions for season two and putting them all together. So we can sort of do like a rewatch together leading into season three. Now, just as a heads up though, I can't tell you why, I don't know where my headspace was at, but I don't have reactions for episode six and seven. I have reactions for every other episode, but for some reason I missed those two episodes. So um, just as a heads up, uh, those episodes are missing. But with that being said, let's get into my reactions to season two of Motherland Fort Salem. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How are we starting this off? At a funeral. That's not great. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> what kind of camera is that? <laughs> yeah, look behind you. She a witch? Why are you looking at her like that, Dad? I don't understand why they're like crazy, like surprised. Witches are a known thing, right? I mean, I suppose there's like a war going on, but whatever. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy that Mother Lampo Sam is back. Oh, it's such a good show. <laughs> oh, we're kicking like right off from where they ended. Look at her. Okay. <laughs> you need to get not old again, <laughs> please. <laughs> She's kicking it with the grannies now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, like, safe on a plane to do that? <laughs> the attack on the Bellwether wedding had nothing to do with the spree. Okay, but you have balloons there, right? The spree did go to the wedding. I don't think they meant to hurt anyone, but they did go, and then the... What was the human... That human army? They're the ones that killed the people. What is happening? Whoa. Ooh. The ancient enemy has returned. What are they called? The Cam Camarilla? The Camarilla. I Camarilla. Want you to join me in hunting them. And these people intend to end us all. Army and spree. Okay, but the spree did some really fucked up things in the season one. Like, I get they're like, you know, wanting to pull apart the army because they think it's slavery under a different name. Right, I get it, but like, they murdered a whole bunch of innocent people. And out of control. Ooh! Oh, Dally! <laughs> <all you want. laughs> Sorry! She's alive! They. I mark you with this, Sarah. There was a mushroom bomb, and they walked the earth with mushrooms following them. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. And of course she's gonna make me cry. They wanted it to look like the spree so they could bide their time. And harvest our voices to use them again. Wait, so were all the attacks in season one not the spree? Well, I'm so confused now. We need to find them. Agreed. We need to get to them before the Camarilla does. Yes, I like all the witches working together and then not fighting against each other. Oh, hello. Here we go. And I really want it to be special. <laughs> Shut up. We did this. What? How? Who is it? We spend the rest of our lives in a lab. I don't want that. Absolutely. No way. Oh, Are they going to hide it? Appreciating how big this could be. We could be canon. Right. Canon, huh? You ladies are in custody. Okay, how dare you? But they said that they're canon. Look, I take that as a different way. <laughs> oh, Tally. I am so grateful. We are so grateful. That's creepy. An opportunity to resume your life as it was. Ooh. I made a decision and I stand by it. They can't reverse it. Ooh. That's cool that they can communicate without talking. Oh, Tally! Abigail and Rhea are about to board transport home. Yay! Oh! Yes, my is here. Oh! We're gonna get the unit back together! They're gonna make me cry, Tally! <laughs> she must have been up to some really wild stuff. Why are you looking at them like that? 
They saved everyone. Stop giving them slack. <laughs> Yay, they're home. Oh! Oh! You may be the greatest bellwether yet, my daughter. Oh! This fucking episode is making me really emotional. <laughs> I will take the second chance for granted. I love you, daughter. Oh, yay. I love you too. They're gonna sever the line between Tally. She's back. Hey. Are you real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tally. You're okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely us. Oh, look so at them. Big. You guys are a bum. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Look, okay. I'm not going to lie. That look, I'm kind of shipping them. <laughs> I started off the pilot shipping uh, Rael and Tally. Then obviously Rael and and Scylla. Now I'm shipping Rael and Abigail. What could I say? <laughs> Ray doesn't think we should tell Alder what we can do. Alder's Alder. Let's not forget. Meaning. Also, she like a sword. So. Oh yeah, I ship them. <laughs> we thought you were old. <laughs> <laughs> The blast was us. We don't know how. <laughs> Sorry, I should have. Look at the way they're looking at each other. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, they're playing a game. Oh. <laughs> I'm way too excited about this show. <laughs> I'm way too excited. Okay, so, um, Scylla said that was something. I guess some sort of way to track people, right? But Anacostia did that knowing that Scylla would find it. That was all set up to make it look like Scylla is still on their side. I see them, I see them. This dude's a puppy for her. <laughs> Whatever happened to, uh, to that girl you liked? Oh. We broke up. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Tally? Everything where it should be? <laughs> yes. Thank you. I've missed you so, so much. Oh! I've never missed anyone in my life, and it's only been like. A day. <laughs> don't, don't make me ship that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm such trash. <laughs> I am such trash. <laughs> oh God. Mm. <laughs> this will pass. Like you've lost a child or a mother. I'm such trash. I'm such trash. <laughs> at least they were like, look, this is not sexual at all. Don't confuse it. <laughs> they were literally like looking at me being like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You'll know what to say. The words are in your blood. That's an awakening, isn't it? Bro, as if, as if you like are in this situation and you see her being like, You'll know what to say. You'll be like, yeah, yeah, okay. No worries. I'm joining you. <laughs> like, as if you'd say no to that face. As if. As if. This is how they get all these witches. They're all just fucking in love with her. <laughs> maybe I'm just projecting my gay a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Hate is a disease. Find patient zero. You guys started this. What? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah? You and Alder? I, she came to check on me. No big deal. Mm. So, how great was it? What do we do now? What haven't you done? Erica still loves them. <laughs> She's such a softie for them. Watch, watch. <laughs> now your alders problem. <laughs> As 
as if you're gonna miss them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't! You're playing with my heart right now. <laughs> Bro, she looks so good there. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, honestly, same. Oh, yep, yeah. Tally, it wasn't real. It wasn't real. <sighs> oh, oh! Tell me those aren't real. Uh, not good. Oh, damn, what a good episode back. What a good episode back. Alright, so that was episode one of season two of Motherland for Salem. Oh my god, I'm so happy this show is back. It's just so good. It's so good. That was a great episode back. I ship Abigail and Rael. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also ship Tally and Alder. I, I... Look, I'm trash, okay? We all know this. This is not a surprise. That was great, though. I really enjoyed that. I'm so excited for this season. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That does not look like fun. Oh, my God. I always feel so humbled in her presence. What is that? Are we going to learn what this mushroom thing is? This goop? Tell me. Rael touched it. She said in her presence, though. That's kind of cool. Direct from the epicenter. <laughs> I kind of want that on my shelf. <laughs> Please tell me what that is. I mean, she clearly knows what it is. Hey, hey, there's a new character. Ooh. It was terrifying, but also kind of amazing. <laughs> All right, Belle. Tally's in love. Let's be honest. <laughs> hey. What? Hey. <laughs> As your mom pulled strings. Ah, that's stupid. Talk. We'll show them what we're made of soon enough. Yeah, you will. I think she can use a friend. A friend or a friend? <laughs> you know what can happen when you get too close. She falls in love. They decided to keep me in the field and keep us apart. That's every rude. time. She might be better off, safer in the army. I don't know, man. Like, I'm not convinced on this mom's like whole justification like i get it but i also feel like i mean i shouldn't say the mom i should say the spree like like it feels like they have like oh good intentions but then they murdered hundreds of people like how Wh what like they murdered hundreds of innocent people i get the camera are like human right and they're attacking witches but she also married a human Rael's dad is a human. Like, so clearly she doesn't have it out for humans. She has it out for evil people. But the spree has it out for humans. I don't, I don't know. I, it's just a bit messy, I think. <laughs> I'm your coven leader. Hey. Call me M. Hey, M. Feel free to come to me once you finish dealing with your super cool hair, of course. You're not. <laughs> You're still bunking together. Is okay, I love M. <laughs> Can I borrow you for a sec? Oh, can I ship these two? Oh my god. Give me enemies to love us do it. <laughs> oh, that thing's alive? Gossip's a high school thing. Oh, oh! It did. Uh, this whole thing is freaking me out. I just want to make sure. Like, I can't even really appreciate the these best. two. No more secrets. Because she's a talking head. Well, believe me. Oh, bro, the height difference. Though. I'm all done with secrets. <laughs> much happening I don't like it <laughs> man I shipped the hell out of Libba and Abigail oh my god that we will need to destroy them oh I also want tell he's like this is hot <laughs> I'm sorry I'm such trash to know Bitch. you must be constantly seeking the truth no matter where it leads you I should this do so don't. Oh. It is this veil of silence.
set alarm. Bro, Emma is so hot. Oh my god. I'll leave you to get on with your day. Thank you for visiting us. We appreciate it. Love you. <laughs> Rayo is the only person who touched the mycelium and walked away more or less unscathed. Okay. So no one's been able to touch it and not be adversely affected by it. Rayelle's like the only person that has been able to do that. And now she's like sharing powers with it? I don't know. Sharing a connection? Yeah, that was a bit fucked, mate. Not gonna lie. Like, she's gotta be affected by this, right? Like, she can't just walk through here and not feel anything. She killed all of these people. Was it worth it? Yeah, no. It's getting to her. I think about them all the time. And there's this... And across the other... What are you doing? All because they were in the wrong place. What is happening? Anacostia, what are you doing? Anything human left in her. Oh, damn. She just went to that rally to call her out? I'm so confused. I thought they were working together. What is happening? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, my question exactly. I could ask you the same thing. Okay. This is part of your quest to save me. To capitalize on okay. the remorse. Okay, they're not I working together. That you mean the remorse has been written all over your face from the moment you walked in here. Ooh. I saw an opportunity and I took it. Look, I want in on what you're doing. Yes. Let's work together. Just has me wondering if there might not be a different way. Okay, but like the spray's way is not the way. Feels like we're kindred spirits. <laughs> Feels like... Mm. <laughs> we can't get through a call without it ending up in tears. That's how we're gonna be late for class. She can't get through to her dad at all. Don't do that to Tally. I lost you at the end. <laughs> will you, will you stand? He's challenging you to a duel. <laughs> How is it that Adil is able to speak perfect English, a language he's never studied? Oh, interesting. Excuse me, General. Hey. May I have a moment? <laughs> Carry on, <laughs> She's in love with her. I don't. <laughs> oh, it's such trash. Can I count on you to do the same in yours? Yes, sir. Which is working together. This is what I like to see. Uh, even if it's killing all the humans. I know I'm like ragging on the spree for killing the humans, but I mean the bad humans, okay? <laughs> I'm happy to serve you, General. Who is she? She's got lightning, that's cool. I want lightning. She's loving it. <laughs> what radiator? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this bitch creepy. Oh. I hate it so much. No. That is giving me chills. I hate that. Oh no. What, so we have to find a way out? It's no, an escape room. I don't think so. Find the sound that's fucking with your head. Oh, I hate that so much. Found it. No. That's not it. Oh no. Oh, no, don't go through no. the door. <laughs> Listen to Tally. She's a, what is it? No, I see or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you doing anything? Chill. I am. <gasps> That's so cool. I want these two working together so bad. Oh, that's disgusting. No, I hate that. Somewhere. Screw this place. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yes! Kill them! Oh. I hate them so much! Find you! Find you! Oh. No one has 
ever beaten the dollhouse on their first try. Yay! Go tell him! Good job. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of her! Here, but, uh... <laughs> we were here the whole time. Well done. Yay! <laughs> Where's Abigail and Rail? Yeah, yeah, well, that's Hello? a good question. Oh no. Excuse me. Please. Um. No. Hurry up. Oh no! This better be just like a bait to make her like use her powers. Die! Oh she That's so cool! <laughs> I'm so proud of my girls! <laughs> How did Abigail handle it? She took a swing at me. Huh. <laughs> so you'll continue testing rail? Yes, ma'am. Don't make her a, a lab rat, though. Oh, Abigail. You're special, too! We love you! Yeah, Abigail's having a rough time today. <laughs> Oh, we are gonna have you ready for basic in no time. Can I shoot these? Sorry, <laughs> oh God, I'm such trash. Some sort of working's been used on it. Oh, there's someone missing on the end there. Oh. I love Tally's powers. And someone's trying to hide her existence. Bro. Okay, so that was my reaction to uh, Motherland, Fort Salem, episode two. Oh, I love this show so much. I just am so proud of my girls. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I saw the promo going around this week where Tally and Alda get kind of close and I was expecting it in this episode, but apparently not. I am shipping them like nothing else. Holy shit. <laughs> also, can we talk about M for a second? Cause goddamn. You know? <laughs> I could look at Em's face all day. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm sad for Abigail though, because she's definitely like probably the most ambitious out of them all. And she's feeling left behind, I think. Tally's got her thing with older and her sort of seeing, knowing Noah. She's a Noah. She's got that sort of stuff going on for her. People are very intrigued by that. Um, rael has got this mushroom thing. What is it called? They said it, but I forgot it. Um, so she's all special because of that. So Abigail's not feeling very special, but we've seen the trailers. Abigail pops off. She's, she pops off. I just love them all. I love them all. <laughs> and we need to open test centers now. Asking every young woman of conscription age to report for testing. I don't understand. Like the conscription thing pops up magically, right? Like they don't sign up for it. It pops up when they're of age, if they're a witch. Wouldn't it do that for everyone that's a witch, even if they know it or not? Or do they have to know it? I mean, clearly they're saying they have to know it, but if it's magical and it just shows up if they're a witch at the age of conscription, why wouldn't it just show up for anyone that's a witch? I don't know. And the president has assured me she won't be signing any such order. Bro, you don't want the witches on your bad side. Like, look at the spree. Look at the spree! Like, if they didn't have the army, like, the witch army on their side, normal humans would just, like, <laughs> they would not be in any sort of power whatsoever, you know? You don't want the witches on your bad side. You want witches on your side. Period. <laughs> New witches need to be protected. Oh, <gasps> did she just, like... Oh, no. Uh, not good. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if um, Alda created the spree. Cause like, you know, in uh, modern times, the, the, you know, the divide between witches and humans is growing further and further. And clearly the president is not a fan of witches, is not afraid of, uh, afraid, a fan of Alda, right? Imagine if Alda created the spree to create fear, to show the importance of the army and witches. You did that on purpose? <laughs> Narrowing down your choices of the men who will be part of furthering your line. What if you're gay though? Do you have to? That's a bit fucked. That's the danger of having no one but yourself to answer to. <laughs> she chose to form a symbiosis with you. Yeah, yeah, so it's not just like a pure lines that are strong. She's a, what did they, what'd she say? An outcry? Whatever it is. 
You know, her dad's human, mum's a witch, but still, the highest form of power, witchcraftness that we know so far has chosen Rael. Mm hmm. It's a death cap. Oh, <laughs> cool. Uh oh, uh oh. I think I got her attention. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> Your hand fasting will take place at the end of this year. Or else what? What happens if she doesn't? Memories. Can I please ship please, sir? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh Bully Mitch Poche Sinik. I thought she couldn't speak one sentence in mother tongue. <gasps> Where did that come from? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, she's getting interesting. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> you got wrecked, buddy. Oh, can I shit these two? <laughs> The blade's clean, Tally. Ooh, Tally. Your visions are crossing over into a wake world. Ah, what are you doing that for? Mycelium has colonized her larynx. That's terrifying. <laughs> Look at her eyes! No, oh, she's gonna get caught. Oh, Scylla. Oh, no. Get out now. Then maybe it's time for another Bellwether to build a working. Hell yeah. One that could end a war. <laughs> Just wait. It, it... No. I mean, you know, he has a thing that's gonna. Fuck that up, and you're gonna get caught, and oh, this is such a bad idea. Yes! We're in this together, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've got chills, man. Cool. That's sick. Whoa. Oh, it's growing mushrooms! That's so cool. Is Black Sarah? Ooh. Victor! They're on first name basis, okay. <laughs> Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no! A threat! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Abigail. <laughs> I found my voice. Oh no. Find yours. That's a yikes from me. <laughs> no, don't rush through it. Look, honestly, I can ship these there. <laughs> oh, keep making those noises. I'm gonna have to start asking questions. <laughs> Say that Alder wasn't there at the martyrdom, but I know she was. I saw her there. Can we go back to you being like all dreamy eyed towards Alder? <laughs> I didn't give you permission to speak freely. I didn't ask. Oh, shit. I think I'll leave the judgments to history. <laughs> Everyone's going up against Alda now. Honestly, I've got such a sweet spot for Alda. Like, she could do so much wrong and I'd still be like, you know what? I'm still on your side. <laughs> They're planning, but I won't Aww. be a party to it. You can keep the photo, by the way. <laughs> I miss her too. Oh. She misses her! <laughs> I mean, Scylla, like, I honestly don't give a fuck about the mom, to be honest. Oh, shit! Alda's getting ripped into, eh? That's because he's a safety school with a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tally's face! <laughs> Where are you getting your information? I want Tally to, like, confront Alda with this, to be honest. I just want them to have more things together. 
Did I fail with Scylla? You definitely didn't win. <laughs> okay. You're fair. <laughs> Just all day. Oh. Ah. We need to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That would be terrifying. Kill him. Kill him all. I don't, I genuinely like don't understand why you're trying to go at witches with violence. They could fucking kill you, bro. <laughs> Look at this bitch. Like, as if, as if you're gonna throw something at her. What? Look, honestly, these people are making me not question the spree so much. <laughs> Do we really care if all these people die? Not so much. <laughs> the Camry had at least one operative on site to put something in motion with the movement in law enforcement. That's cool. How are they doing that? For today, we lie. For today, okay. Bells, who is it? No, no, no. She dead. Don't fall for it. They stole her vocal cords. No, Abigail. Don't you dare separate from the group. Don't you dare. Oh. Why? Someone once told me that I had to let the army make me strong. And she was right. Oh. The army saw something in Get away from her. Can you please go back? Oh, Rael, why is, why is everyone breaking off into their own groups? Can we not do this? Oh. What was that? Did it like mimic a witch scream thing? Are they gonna think the witches did that? Oh. Just kill all the humans, fuck it. I'm team spree, fuck it. Just kill them all. Like you guys literally have the power, just fucking kill them all. Yes, kill them, Abigail! You got this! Fuck off, brah. Oh. Ah. Abigail! Oh, I fuck off, brah! Yes, sir! Oh, I'm just gonna fucking kill you guys! Gotta enjoy this! <laughs> yes! Yes, M! Fuck them up! Oh, Abigail. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Kill them. Kill them all. Hey. Oh. <laughs> do you really think of Priscilla? I do. Mm -hmm. Tally, I'd know those eyes anywhere. I need them back together now. Come on. The Camarilla came for me just like they came for Charvel. Okay, you three literally need to be by each other's side 24 seven. I don't want you guys leaving each other's sides at all, ever again. Because I failed at saving her too. Abigail, you're putting so much on yourself. Alter's been telling everyone it was the spree. Tally, I need you to confront Alder because I kind of need that tension in my life. <laughs> There's always someone else's life she's playing with. Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm way too excited for this. <laughs> she got a hand down. Oh dear. And how dare you? Hello. Uh, hello. Who is Nick to Batan? <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I can't wait for next week's episode. Look! Oh. Oh, you oh. That got us so quickly. This weapon is getting like way more powerful. Like before it was like slowly creeping up and killing people. It's just like instantly killing people now as soon as they touch it. Like, it wasn't even, like, a big dose or something. Like, the other chick literally just, like, touched it for a second to try and get it out of her hand, and she died. Like that. Do you like civilian music? <laughs> Stop. Why is she actually tell me that? Does she want to dance? <laughs> I'm so far down that, is it taller, Shim? Don't. Don't.
know. She's got her hair now. She's asking her, does she like some Philly music? Let's have a little boogie together. <laughs> I enjoy it immensely. Okay. <laughs> Sit. She's got a, her top unbuttoned as well. Don't. Oh my God. <sighs> but I know you were there with her. <laughs> Is she going to tell her about the dreams? And what makes you think you are owed any? We oh are connected. Why have I been seeing these memories? Ever since the surgery, I thought they were dreams. Make sure that the connection is well and truly severed. Oh, no, don't do that! <laughs> I mean, I don't want Helen to have, like, the nightmares anymore, but, like, I need them to get back. <laughs> and how long have we known that she's on the loose? <laughs> I mean, since she ran away, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Used to be a wild animal, now you're just... She's whipped! <laughs> Except you survived. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, don't say that. Excuse me? Yeah. I was talking about India. Oh, they think he's dead. No, come on. Doing, right? Goodbye. Perhaps. <gasps> Abigail. We need to stop hurting Abigail. What the fuck? You look amazing yourself. Oh! <laughs> Abigail never tells her. I need someone to hug Abigail, like, right now. <laughs> Abby? Abby? Um, what? Well, what's happening? Saw when it begins. Oh, this is fucking soundtrack though. Ooh. <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey. <laughs> and tonight. Ah, oh, we Ooh. wake the dead. You get to speak to the dead witch of your choosing. Oh, she's gonna try and contact her mom and she's not gonna be able to talk to her? Oh, will she know that she's not dead? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was way too funny. Light him up. <laughs> I have a lighter. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> gonna burn your sound on someone you've never even met. Why not? I need answers. Doesn't this happen like once a year? It's like a legit arrow. <laughs> 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 we are fuck? about to rid the world of some of that evil. What the fuck? She's the gift. I hate everything that's happening right now. What are you doing right now? Take one. Plenty to go around. What the fuck? They're gonna stone her to death? I, what? Name is not Justine. Ignorant rat carcass. <laughs> yes, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Check or treat. Yeah! Oh, look at the fuck in our eyes! Kill him! Kill him! Do it! Oh my god. I've never wanted. Someone to die so much. Oh, she's taking his face. That's all you have to do? Jesus Christ. That's not how I thought it happened. That's a bit gross. <laughs> okay, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, we are not doing that. That is not something that we're doing. No, we're doing tally and all that. Now, don't try that shit on me. No, uh, uh, I'm not here for it. How long do we have until the candle burns out? That's a long time. I feel like those candles are burned for that like doesn't days. Seem long enough. No. What are you talking about? How long do candles burn in America? Like, what? <laughs> They're big ass fucking candles. I mean, granted, I. I don't like candles regularly. <laughs> Maybe I've got a misconception in my head, but I feel like those little round things last a decent amount of time. That massive ass chunky thing would last hours at least. It's got a spider in there. That's disgusting. Oh no, I do not like that. No. Oh. 
Oh, I hate that! <laughs> You're a failure. What? That's fucking rude. Oh, Rael. Oh, no. Spree method, like with the the something bursting, and they killed themselves. Our vengeance. Ooh. She's gonna kill some motherfuckers. I'm so here for it. Oh, Rahel. I mean, she's gonna know, right? That she's alive. Oh, please, Rahel. Oh. Why did she come? Oh. Because she's alive. No, Rael. I mean, honestly, I'm mad at the mum. Whatever the fuck her name is, I don't even know her name. But she abandoned her. Made her think she's dead. And then not only that, she didn't come to her when she was dead, because, like, obviously she's not dead. She's not coming to her when she has the ability to. She's alive. She selfishly joined the spree to just kill people with no end goal in sight when she has a daughter there. Needing her. That's fucked. It's fucked. In bathe in their blood. I added that last part. <laughs> uh, how would you. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I love Tally. <laughs> She's such a dork. Aww. It's good to see you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Scylla. What's the bet? <sighs> Daughters, not our daughters. Oh, she... oh. Honestly, I used to criticize her for the murder because I was like, look, I love you. I want you and Rayal together, but like you murder innocent people on a regular basis. But at this point, I don't even care anymore. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill all the civilians. I don't care. I'm witches only. Witches only. Justine, I... How'd she get her face without killing her? Doesn't she need to like burn it off? Did I misinterpret that? Yeah, it's time to run, Scylla. There's a dead body in that house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was my reactions to episode three, four, and five. I apologize that they haven't been coming out weekly. It just kind of got on top of me and then I just needed to catch up. But, oh man. Oh man. All the basically asking Tally to dance at the start of this, that episode. That's what I took from that scene, okay? Okay? <laughs> Look, I understand that we're finding out that Alda, like, killed those people in, like, a black magic kind of way, but, like I said previously, I just kind of have a weak spot for Alda. <laughs> and let's be honest, if I can forgive Zilla for continuously murdering people, I think I can forgive Alda. <laughs> but I'm not here for them putting Tally and whatever that dude is together. No, we're not doing that. That is not happening. No. But overall, I love the episodes. Need more Tally and Older? Need more Rael and Scylla together? That needs to happen this season, please. I also need just more M in my life because <sighs> I just love looking at them. <laughs> Bro, give me some like Tolder content in this episode. It's been like way too long. Way too long. Oh damn. I'm so excited. <laughs> and your sight makes you more valuable to me on this mission. She's valuable to her. <laughs> You'll pick them up on the way. Oh! <laughs> All that doesn't been for anyone. No. General. Oh man, there's so much tension. <laughs> Carry on. Give it to me. <laughs> oh man. I'm such trash. <laughs> I'm changing the objective. Ooh. I'll inform the strike team. You bring a tan back alive. Yeah, Alda's not gonna like that. Tell me everything you know about Nick to Batan. No. No, Tally! Don't betray Alda! <laughs> Look, I know Alda is like holding so many secrets, but I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. I will follow her wherever she leads me. <laughs> Rail's thirsty. What do you think is gonna happen? Look at that high difference though. <laughs> Look how tiny Rael is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just seeing how tiny Scylla was next to Abigail. 
Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> my mom and I had a ritual. Look, honestly, I'm still pissed at the mom. Like, I really did not get into the mom's storyline at all. I, I don't know. I just, like, I guess she's like, oh, I'll join a spree to make a better world for Rael. But, like, in the process, left Rael who, and gave her no option but to join the army, which is the very thing that the mom didn't want her to do. I, it, just, it just doesn't make sense. And then she abandoned her twice in doing that. I don't know. I, I feel like the mom's storyline was incredibly weak. She let us grieve her for no reason. It destroyed my dad. Yeah, and yeah. for what? For the spree? Yeah. But not devastated enough to reach out, apparently. Yeah, she right? She wanted to. She could have left at any time. She thought you'd be safer where you were. That's, so, that's such bullshit. It's such bullshit. Instead, she gave her life for you. It was all pointless. It was all pointless. Let that sink in. Rael had to watch her mom die, or feel her mom die, twice. And for what? For what? We're all fighting the same thing anyway. The two women I've loved most in this world were terrorists who did awful things. <laughs> we were doing what we believed to be right. How? How? You fucking murdered hundreds of people! How could you ever think that was right? Like, come on, bruh. <laughs> like, I know I keep on jumping back on the spree side because, honestly, the civilians annoy the hell out of me in this show. They're all stupid. But, like, in reality, you guys murdered hundreds of innocent people that were literally not involved in any of this. <laughs> like, I honestly understand, from what I can gather, Nictus, is it Nick Nictus? Is that how I say your name? I can understand, like, her perspective of it, right? Because she's just pissed. She's mad at Alder. She's just trying to, like, tear Alder and the army down, right? I don't understand Rael's... I still don't know her name. What's her name? Willa. Is right? Willa and Scylla's thought process in thinking they were doing the right thing while on the spree? Nah. No! <laughs> like, I feel like Nick doesn't, like, not even hiding. She's like, yeah, this is fucked up. But I don't care. I'm tearing all the down. <laughs> You're now one of the most powerful witches ever. She's an unkillable lesbian. BT dubs. I love that for us. I don't care what happens. I'm not walking away from you again. Oh, okay. I hate for that. <laughs> oh. Oh. That makes me get <laughs> God, I love these three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's becoming quite the revolutionary. Exactly what the army needs more of, I'd say. Agreed. I don't know. Like, all this infighting is just... Yeah, I feel like it's just not gonna end well. The first false move you make, I'm ending you, Necro. Bro, I could, like... I could be into this, <laughs> Give me that, enemies to love us. I'm sorry. I'm shipping trash. I can ship literally anyone. Like, honestly, I think, I think we all know this at this point. <laughs> Okay, but uh, touch hands. Do it, do it. Pinky, pinky hold, do it. I dare you. You won't. What are you doing? Don't walk away from your team. Oh, honey, no. Honey, honey, come on. You know what this is. You know what this is. I hope you're hungry. She just kind of looks evil, don't you reckon? <laughs> she has a great evil face. Like, she could be, like, nice as well, but when she wants to, she can look evil. I appreciate it. I thought marrying your father was the thing that ruined my life. <gasps> Don't you dare. You are. Oh, rude. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Was she just cutting her own throat? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Like, why are we wandering off? Why have you not looked behind you, man? Like, oh, look, no one's behind me. Maybe I should stop. Tally, Tally, come on, you can see through this. You can see through this. What about that for the moment, Craven? She's doing that all the. <laughs> I summoned you here to talk about your behavior. Oh, punch her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I haven't come across many like you. Oh. Literally, a fan fiction that I've read. I'm pretty sure. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the way. I've had oh. many biddies, but our connection was very unique. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Very powerful. <laughs> Clearly not easily broken. I can't breathe. Where, I can't breathe. where are the biddies? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> a connection. <laughs> you will rejoin my biddies. What? <laughs> I hope that you know that your sacrifice will never be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you the toad are old instead of kissing her. How dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is pounding. It's what you've wanted since you arrived at Fort Salem. Oh man, I think you've misinterpreted this connection. She wants to bang you. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is too stressful. I cannot. This is episode, man. I'm sweating. I mean, what can she throw at us looks worse than that? Okay, don't, don't test fate. Yeah. <laughs> can we please just acknowledge, just acknowledge for a second that both Abigail and Raelle dreamt of their family, right? Their loved ones. Tally dreamt of Alda. Look, she's in love with her. I, you, nah, you're not going to convince me otherwise. She's actually in love with Alda. Like, oh my God. We carry out our mission. Oh god, this is such a bad idea. We should just go home. Just go home, sit in front of a fire, and relax. I think that's the best course of action. Like, babes, they know you're here. They've been attacking you for like the last half an hour. <laughs> like, you guys are not sneaking up on them at all. He was spree. He got what was coming to him. Ooh. And you will too. Ooh. We would have just swooped in at the end and tried to take all the credit. Typical Ooh. bellwether. What the hell is that supposed to be? Yeah, Guys, come on. Tally, quit whining. What it means is you are constant. Yours was worthless even before your mother told us. Okay, we're not doing this. Come on. Come on. Can you not hear this? Come on. You guys are... You're smarter than this? You're smarter than this. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're not doing this. Come oh, no. Tally, don't leave by yourself! This is such a bad idea! <gasps> yes, she is. Hey, she's kind of hot though, eh? <laughs> Can I ship them? Oh. It's a little bit sexy. I'm not gonna lie! Oh, she wait. Get her, Tally. Get her. You got her. Pa -pa. No way. No way. What? No way! You just took down the leader of the spree. No, no way! There's no way! It was that easy. Is she dead? No. Is she? No. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Tiffany? She's just a kid. Oh, she's gonna adopt a kid? Hunt down the Camarilla. Make sure they don't put any more of us in kids. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're not joining the spree again and trying to take down the army because like I get it but I also think it's the dumbest plan that they had. Hey, hey. No, you're kidding. You're kidding. How many teasers are we going to get this episode? I am not enjoying this. Guys, can, can we have a minute? You guys just had a minute. <laughs> Why didn't you say what you needed to say then, Rhea? Like, what? <laughs> you can save my dad and have pancakes in the morning and gonna I, I think the it'd be good for both of you. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah. I'll let him know you're coming. She wants a wife to go home too. Okay, <laughs> uh, seriously, we're gonna walk away twice without kissing. This is bullshit. This is some bullshit. Yes, turn around, turn around. Do it. Yes. Yay! <laughs> it's been... 84 years! Oh, yay! But why does this feel like a goodbye? We better continue to see Zilla in this season. I swear to God. If this is the last we see of Zilla, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, something's wrong with Tally. Nah, I don't like it. They switch bodies 100%. 100%. We're together. 
Nah. That's some bullshit. Yes! They switched bodies. A hundred percent. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Hold on. <laughs> the only way I'm not mad by this is if... Uh, older and and Nikta did have a thing a little while ago, right? N original girlfriends, OGs, right? <laughs> and then older sees her again, and they have some teamy, steamy tension. But it's actually Tally. Someone write this fan fiction for me, please. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> oh no! A little medieval. Tally. <laughs> Nikta will pay for her crimes. Look at her eyes! Come on, you got you know something's up. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just see her elder's face! She was devastated when Tally tried to attack her. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. <laughs> oh, she touched her girlfriend, so she's not happy. <laughs> what an episode. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like I've read way too many told uh, fanfics that it's just like my own sort of like, my own canon is just running through the show right now. <laughs> Like, I have gone way off course to what I think they want me to be saying, but whatever. I don't care. Nikta and Older used to be a thing, and now Tally and Older are a thing, and oh, the tension. <laughs> but I'm so curious because that almost kiss scene obviously nearly killed me. I couldn't breathe. But I was expecting that to be in next week's episode because um, Jessica was like, um, obviously the actress that plays Tally was like teasing episode nine was her favorite. And I was like, okay, okay. Cause like she was teasing that around this whole picture thing, right? She said, eight's good, nine's like my favorite or something along those lines, right? So I was like, okay, this kiss scene's gonna be like in episode nine. But now I'm very curious what episode nine is gonna be like. But also back to Rael and Scylla, um, what's happening there? Because yes, we got an adorable kiss. They made up their, um, Scylla's gonna go raise a child on the farm and their wives, but it felt like a goodbye. Why? Why? That makes me very nervous. I don't appreciate that. Oh man, I have, I have way too many emotions right now. Like I'm sweating. I need to take my jumper off. I don't know why I've kept it on this long. It's like winter, in the middle of winter here in uh, Australia and I'm sweating. <laughs> and it's mostly because of Tolda. <laughs> General Bellwether didn't tell me that you'd be attending the interrogation. I know. That's sus. I don't like that. And these witches don't have to die to keep me looking young. Ooh, how does she say young? Oh, um, what? Just hold on one second. One second. Just hold on. <laughs> There's a lot to just take in there. Because she was bragging about how she was able to stay young without killing witches. And then she just goes and fucking kills a witch. For no reason! Why? <laughs> I mean, I get that she's being interrogated, but if she's so powerful and if her, like, sole purpose is that witches don't have to die, and then she just goes and kills a witch just to show how powerful she is. I don't know. That's a bit weird. But I'm gonna need Tally Craven asking the questions from here on out. Oh, damn. Then we don't have any time to waste. Oh, no. Don't you dare put Tally in there. Oh, I'm so nervous. This love triangle is getting out of control. <laughs> Tana cost you quarter me. Oh. To Willa Collar. Oh, this cute moment. It's gonna get I ruined. To interrupt. Yeah, rude. I need to be able to speak to Tally, and only Tally. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Your dad's really good with Tiffany. Yeah, he's an old bro. Oh, look at that. Um, you, uh... I was honestly worried that we weren't going to see 
Scylla again for the rest of the series. Like, their kiss loss episode, I was like, why does this feel like a goodbye? This is so weird. I was very nervous that that was, like, going to be it for Scylla's, like, role this season. But she's here. It's great. Does your dad know about us? Is there us to know about? Kind of stepped into that one, huh? <laughs> I think I've even made a new friend. Uh, that's creepy. What are you up to, Scylla? Scylla, what are you up to? <laughs> like sort of a murderous face on. I think it's important that we hear what she has to say. Oh god, the tension! <laughs> you can hardly blame me for stealing that face. Look at those dimples. Look, I, I'm gonna ship it. Like, what, what do you expect from me? Okay, we knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I love, I love this love triangle. I'm just... It's, it's a thing, okay? No one's taking this away from me. Tally, Alda, and Nikta. Love triangle. OG, OG3. Let's OG3 this. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> they might have a higher opinion of us if you'd stop murdering them. Oh, uh, fair. <laughs> you expect us to believe you kill one civilian for every witch that dies in combat? Oh. Do the math. Oh, that's interesting. Because I then use that same work to start the spree. Oh, yikes. Oh, God. Alder is in a sticky situation. <laughs> to puppet me. That is what you call it, yes? Puppeting. <laughs> the distinction is accurate. Hmm. Petra, I'm not liking you at this moment in time, to be honest. You will step down. No way. <gasps> oh, my God. She's going to kill someone. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm very attracted. <laughs> It's just hard to picture you as the poster girl of the conscription. <laughs> yeah, they met you. <laughs> um, oh, hey. It's been so long. Well, that's not the whole story. Tally. Tally. I am so confused by Tally, to be honest. Can I just put this out here? Because, like, she was a bitty. She felt older. Like, her actual feelings and thoughts, maybe not too detail, right? But she felt her. Wouldn't she get a feeling, and it felt like when she was a biddy, that Alda was truly doing everything with witches in mind, right? And then all of a sudden, she's so against Alda. I don't, I don't understand it. You know, I get that she was hiding Nicta and the spree, but why is she so mad at her? Like... So mad at her. Hey, Red. Hey. New shampoo? I should put my <laughs> We have to stop fighting each other and start fighting the real enemy before it's too late. Yeah, see, this is what I don't understand, right? Like, they have a bigger enemy, obviously. People trying to kill witches, right? And I feel like there's been a lot of sh shitty things that Alder has done. I feel like I don't quite understand the whole situation with how this all blew up, right? With Alder having those people kill themselves. I don't understand why she did that. But I'm assuming it's because she thought she was doing the right thing. Right? And now these two are saying they need to stop fighting each other and start fighting, you know, the Camry. Which, duh! Like, I, w I don't know. Why? I, I just don't understand the nitpicky of, like, I'm mad at Alda because she's not telling me the whole truth. But she's, like, 300 years old. Like, Christ, she's, there's a lot she's not telling you, obviously. We've got bigger issues, though. Like, I don't know. My death will inspire a new spree. Yo, imagine if um Tally is the new leader of the new spree in season three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Imagine. What will become of the petties? The program is being retired, along with you. They're gonna kill her! Do you think you would have done a better job? Yeah, do you? 130,000 died in an afternoon. Jesus Christ. All the horror. All the glory. Right? She's done some fucked up things. But like, she thought she was doing the right thing for the greater good. I'm human. Somewhere along the way, I think you forgot you are too. 
I mean, I think that's a fair argument. I think she has sort of lost touch with her humanity a little bit because she's been around so long. She's seen so many lives lost that it's just become numb to her by now, maybe. This is my unit. We're very oh. excited to start basic together. They're so cute, look at them. <laughs> Tell me what you need to get started. Soldier. Okay. I like this though. This is, oh uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, oh I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, it's alive. Her song of grief is how we came to be. Dude, I got chills right now. Oh my god. Oh, has anyone else got fucking goosebumps? Oh my god. You can't get rid of Olda. Like, Olda created this. She gave me this gift. And I'm not gonna let anybody tell me how to use it. Oh, man. She, she gives no fucks right now. She's like, she's seen it. She's seen what the greater, greater this, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But what Olda's been trying to fight for. She's seen it. She understands now. Something's gonna happen. I have the feeling, right? Tally's on this, like, mission to out Alder. I feel like she's going to do something during this, like, ex execution, right? Towards Alder. But then Rael's going to do something because now she understands. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh. You feel free to stay on at the house for as long as you like. Oh. If you're a part of my little girl's life, then you're a part oh. of mine too. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. So... Uh... Oh my god! What is happening? <laughs> it's not Motherland for Salem without a dance sequence. <laughs> How do we use it against the Camarilla? Don't you dare, don't you dare. I, I hate this. You. Yeah, no. Ah! Oh, Tally, Tally, you're frustrating me this episode. God fucking damn it. Ugh. Oh no, I don't like seeing this fight. <laughs> and one for the head. God. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very confused by everything that is happening right now. <laughs> I just, um, like they're all saying, yes, Nikta did everything that she's accused of, but she shouldn't die. Why? <laughs> like, I get they want, like, peace. I get it, I get it, right? How do you punish her though? But then the president was like, if you don't do it all though, we're gonna do it without you. So it's gonna happen anyway. I, I just, I, I feel like I'm missing something here. I, cause as it stands right now, as it stands right now, there, all these people are putting their lives on the line for Nicta, right? They've said, my life or hers, right? They are literally putting their lives on the line for Nicta. Someone that they all agree has mass murdered innocent people for no real good reason, to be honest. <laughs> like, I get the reason, but it's not a good reason. There are definitely other ways around it. They haven't even tried anything else. They just went straight in for mass murder. They're like, hmm, it's not working. It hasn't been working for years. Let's do it more. <laughs> anyway, aside from that, they're putting their lives on the line for this person. And yet no one is putting their life on the line for older who is literally gonna get murdered soon when they get rid of her biddies. Excuse me? What? How does this make sense? What now, Tally? What now? Did we just change the world? No. It feels like a start, doesn't it? 
No, you literally didn't. Next, we start focusing on our real enemy. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, go, damn. Go, I'm right behind you. What is happening? Ah! Oh, is that the, the stuff? Ah! Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's it's bad. It's, it's, it's gotten bad. All right, that was my reaction to episode nine. Look, I honestly am annoyed. I'm annoyed. Oh, I don't know. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> So they're all very proud of themselves. We've changed the world. Now we get to focus on our true enemy, the Camry, right? But can we acknowledge for a second, because no one else seems to be, Olga was literally trying to do that the whole time. It was the spree. Literally, Nikta Batan, who was distracting everyone from that. The only people from the spree that were like, actually, older and this conscription shit is not our priority anymore, the Camry. The only people in the spree that had that priority was Willa and Scylla. Everyone else was like, no, that's not the mission. The mission is to get older. S what? I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I, maybe I need to rewatch this episode, maybe the this season, because I just feel like they're telling a story that I'm not quite understanding and not quite following. <laughs> like, what did they think they changed tonight? They stopped Alda from killing, you know, Nicta, right? I get it, I get it. Anti-death penalty, sure, why not? But what did they change? They all admitted Nicta is like guilty of every crime that she committed, was accused of committing, right? Still needs to be punished in some way or another, probably just lock her up for eternity, right? Which will then obviously, you know, make way for her to escape and then cause more issues. I just don't know what they're so proud. I just, and I don't understand why Tally has been so mad at older for. Like I said, she was literally a biddy. Like she probably is the the person with the most understanding of older's like thoughts and feelings. And even at the end there, I think Petra got a glimpse into like the reality of older's situation being like, she's seen some fucked up shit, right? So she sat to make some really tough decisions. And yes, you know, she made a good argument. Probably her humanity is not where it used to be. Death is kind of numb to her now. But I think she was sort of getting a better understanding of like the whole situation, right? Shouldn't Tally already have this? Why is she so mad about honestly a technicality? Still doesn't change the fact that the Spree have been murdering innocent people for years. <laughs> Alda didn't do that. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm very frustrated. I don't like this feeling though. I don't know what Scylla's deal is as well. She made a whole bunch of people dance. And had like a, a sly grin on her face, like she has a plan. What's her plan? I just don't know. They're losing control of their vocal cords. That's creepy as hell. Oh, I hate that. That's disgusting. Oh, no. What now, Bellwether? You've got all witches depending on you. You better make the right call. How can we help? Oh, look at that little swag. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah's a bigger person than all of you. All of you! We'll fight them together. Army and Spree. Right, we could have been doing this long ago, but the Spree decided to spend how many, how long trying to kill Olda, personally? I'm still salty, okay? <laughs> Engage from the front. Tell are you what looking at, Tally? I can see it. Of course you can. I'm fury without work. That's so cool. I fucking love Tally's, like, power. <laughs> Oh my god! Yes! Go Tally! Oh my god, get fucked. Get fucked. Oh my god, I'm so screwed! Tally, queen! <laughs> um, no. Let's not fucking do that, okay? No. We fight to our very last breath. Oh my god, fuck him up, fuck him up. Oh, go biddies! <laughs> Yes, queen! Oh. Oh, no. oh! Excuse me? What? You 
fucking you oh i'm so oh no i'm so pissed i knew it was coming i saw her in the trailer i fucking i'm so mad she is like a fucking tree did you see that <laughs> No one in history has done more to turn the tide of public opinion against witches. Yeah, great work, Nicta. Because she had some fucking vendetta against Alda. She fucked over all witches. Oh, wow. You've really saved all witches, haven't you? I'm... Mm -mm -mm. That's different. <laughs> that fucking shit is crazy to see. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> My fight isn't with the army anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> fucking no! I'm so mad. I am so fucking mad at this shit. This shit. Why? 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 You spent all fucking season trying to kill fucking older and like take down the army. Be and your excuse was I'm saving all witches. Fuck off, bro. Fuck off! You literally put more witches in danger with all your actions and now you look, you're like, oh, we have a bigger enemy. <sighs> oh, I'm, just, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the spray after I finish this show, but just know I'm frustrated. <laughs> oh dear. As it, look, I am gonna talk about my thoughts on the spray, okay? I will at the end of this reaction, but just know I really do love watching witches kill humans. I mean, civilians or whatever. Camry, you know, you know, <sighs> watching them use their different powers to kill. Them. It's just, it's very entertaining to watch. <laughs> did that really work? Whoa. Yeah, I did. Cool. Wait, what if you hit the sword? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit, it's Penelope! <laughs> she looks so fucking creepy. That's so cool. I mean, it's bad, but cool. How come nobody wants to talk to me? She oh doesn't god. know what's going on. Oh my god! That's so creepy. Oh god, oh my god. Oh my god. Did they just blow her up? <laughs> Everyone is fucking dying in this episode! I swear to god, Alda better come back. I'm gonna be so pissed if Alda doesn't come back. Hey, are you okay? Fuck off, dude. Sorry. Like, he's done nothing wrong, but like, stop touching her. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get hate from so many sides. Look, I understand not everyone is a part of the multi-ship averse like I am. You know, not everyone is so keen on multi-ships. They have their ship and they like it and that's it. I respect that, but I am a multi-shipper. And honestly, while I love Ray Allen Silla, and obviously I ship Tally and Alda. Tally and Ray is, 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 is there as well. And I am indeed shipping them. <laughs> I love you, Silla. Oh. I love you too. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, we're bringing her back, right? We're bringing Tree Older back. Oh my gosh, she's a legit tree! Why is she I don't tree? Understand that. this seriously i can't take this scene seriously i'm sorry you've pushed me to look inside myself to dare to face my dark you guys 
saying all this shit and yet you literally were so smug with yourselves yesterday for literally destroying her life yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday, I'm assuming. Where was your, your compassion, your empathy, your understanding then, bro? All because, all because you wanted to out her to the world being like, Alda knew about um, Nikta. She knew. She knew about the spree and how the spree was created. She knew. That's literally all that was about. They just wanted the world to know that Alda knew about the spree and Nikta Patan from the start. That's it. They fucked up her life for that. And uh, still, whatever. Whatever. Continue. We're mourning a tree. Watch me shoot Tally with a tree! <laughs> told me to follow the Oh, they did her so dirty. They did her so dirty. <laughs> Wars that were intricately connected to Alder's very health. Perhaps when she stepped down or when she was. I don't need perhaps. Yeah, well, maybe if you, you all didn't jump to like the biggest freaking conclusion and be like, Alda, you're gone now. Bye bye. And not have a plan in place. This shit wouldn't happen. This is your fault, mate. Mr. Vice President. This is your fault. I'm so sorry for your loss. He's a Camry. Why are we letting him into the base? This witch plague took her just minutes after I left. Can you imagine how that feels for your father? You infected her, bro. We all saw that pinprick. It took the life of an innocent young witch. Her whole life in front of her. But it was the right call to make. But, you know, the calls that Alder has made. Wrong call, because you can't, you can't hurt innocent people. That's bad. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm salty. Obviously what they did was right, but they need to understand what they did is exactly what Alda's been doing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're young and immature, I get it. You are hereby remanded into custody in connection with yeah, the murder off. of Penelope Silver. Watch me murder this Step dude. Aside, Sergeant. Nah, nah. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do about this, huh? Stand down. Before you know it. Oh my god, you're just letting you're just letting this happen? Alder would never. <laughs> I'm so far up Alder's ass. Like, don't. Don't even talk to him. <laughs> Sounds like the pitchfork brigade is motivating out there. Burn, witch, burn. I wonder why. It's kind of like it's you know, terrorism group has been like terrorizing people for years. Any chance that you could stop calling me red? No, I think it's cute. Can I shoot this? Much as I'm loath to agree with that genocidal piece of shit, he had a point. He did. Yes. You did what you believed was right. Oh, stop! No! Fuck off! Fuck off! No! Okay. 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 We're gonna we're gonna rant about this later. Okay. Have you played a part in something awful? Alder steps down. They almost wipe us out. I mean. Have we helped them? Yes. The truth is finally out. And it none of it matters. It doesn't matter. It fucking doesn't matter. <laughs> Please. Sit. Yeah, watch how the president's gonna fuck you over now, Petra. You thought she was on your side? Nah, uh, uh She's on the civilian side. She doesn't give a shit about witches. Thank you for your time, Madam President. Oh, now you know Petra. Now you see what the shit Alda's been having to deal with for 350 years. And you wonder why she's a little cold. You're a double deal! Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> that's so cool! Oh! Yay! <laughs> you just keep getting better. You like that? No. <laughs> I don't want to be apart from you anymore. Me either. No, I don't want that either. Ever. Ever. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love this so much! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What a kiss. I love this. I love this for me. <laughs> what have I done, daughter? Your moment came and you seized it with both hands. And the world fell apart. Yeah, yeah, you also should have thought this through a lot better than you did. <laughs> do I? Whoa, you can do it to fucking cars? That's sick. That is sick. 
man. I love the use of powers in this episode. Thanks for Oh my god, the height difference. Man. Couple times. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm fucking shivering. <laughs> Oh, that was, oh, oh, that was, oh, oh, that was, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> what, here's a camera, eh? That's the reveal? We fucking knew this already. We knew this. The dawn will be glorious upon the earth. You murdered your child. Oh, my God. He murdered his child because she's a witch. She literally did nothing wrong. Oh, it's older. She, she turned from a tree into a mushroom. Watch me ship. <laughs> Tally with a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, see, I knew Alda wasn't dead. I knew it. I knew it. All right, so that was my reaction to the season finale of season two of Motherland Fort Salem. My God, the feels. <laughs> I just, oh man, I have. Okay, we need to talk about the spree because I've been pissed about them all episode, and I need to just, I need to, like, I think clearly talk my thoughts through. It's not going to be clearly. I'm still going to think of things later, but. I want to put out in the open because honestly, I love Nicta. I do. I love her. <laughs> and I'm very much shipping her with Tally. I'm sorry. But the issue I have with the spree is not the fact that they're like killing people. <laughs> My issue is the way that they try to justify the spree this season. Honestly, if like Scylla and Nicta and like the Spree had just come out and been like, look, we killed all those civilians because civilians are the biggest threat to witches and we don't like them. So we're killing them. I would be like, you know what? That's fair. This whole season, I, I can understand why you'd want to kill them. The civilians have been dicks. I'd, I'd get behind it. It just frustrated the hell out of me that they were trying to justify their actions being like, we were saving witches when it's like, Nicta, you literally just killed a witch before you said that. It just kind of felt like they were like, oh shit, we've made the spree really, really bad in season one, but we kind of want to make them the good guys, the people that you root for in season two going into season three. So we kind of have to lessen the evilness that they've done. And they tried to justify it and I just didn't buy it. It didn't make sense to me. I didn't like it. Like I said, if they'd just straight up been like, look, we kill civilians because they're dicks. We hate them. They've been like keeping us slave for 350 years. They, you know, put us in wars that we don't want to fight. I would have been like, yeah, that's fair. I just, I hated that, you know, like Nicta and the Spree were like after Alda specifically and the army. And it's like Alda was forced into the army just as much as everyone else. She literally watched her sister being murdered. And so she signed the accord being like, oh, hopefully this will keep me and other witches safe. She was forced into that to try and save witches. So the fact that they were trying to justify the spree's action being like, Alda's the bad guy, Alda's been doing this and this and this. It's like, no, stop. Why? Why? We're smarter than this. Why are we trying to attack other witches when we're trying to save witches? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting my point across well. I actually like Nicta. Like I like Scylla. Honestly, I don't care that she killed all those people in season one. I would have, I would have liked this, her storyline this season to be more like, oh, Rael's more important to me than whatever I thought I was doing there, right? But instead she was like, when she had that conversation with Rael about like Willa and her, and they're like, we thought we were doing the right thing. It's like, in what reality? Why could you possibly think that was the right thing? Just admit it. You're a terrorist. You murdered innocent people. Just, just. Just own it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wow. I am like out of breath and a little bit dizzy. <laughs> so I think I'm going to like end my rant there. If I like, if I think of like more stuff that I want to talk about, Motherland Fort Salem wise, I might make another video. But honestly, I think <laughs> this episode, like outside of the spree, like the, the, just like, cause this was like the pinnacle of the spree, like storyline that I think like that part of it. I didn't like. What I really liked about this season finale was we're finally getting like Nicta and like all the witches against like the civilians. So it's like army, it's like, uh, what are the deserters, spree, 
it's no longer like all these different things. Everyone is starting to realize who the actual enemy is. So I like that they're all coming together. Took us a long time and a lot of detours, very frustrating detours, <laughs> but we're all getting there. And honestly, like the civilians are fucked. You got witches going after you? In what world do you win that? <laughs> So I am excited, season two. We got the unit on the run with Scylla and Nicta. Oh man, I'm, I am excited about that. They're gonna learn about all that spree magic. That shit's cool, that shit's cool. I really liked all the magic in this episode. That was really, really cool. It got me excited for season three. Like I hope we, I hope now we're sort of past the whole, oh, we kind of need to redeem the spree so we can go into season three people rooting for the spree. <laughs> It's like, okay, we get it, we're there now. We don't have to like deal with that bullshit anymore. So I'm actually excited for season three because of that. In saying that, season three did get renewed, but for a final season. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to a petition. There's a petition to get it renewed or picked up somewhere else. So we have more than three seasons. If you guys wanna go sign it, it'll be linked in the description. But that's it from me. I hope you all liked this reaction video and rant. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.